Votre Excellence, uh, I will start this short introduction. And if I want to summarize what I will say in one sentence, it is we want to fight extreme poverty. Our world today is very diverse. We have uh, developed countries in the Europe, in the USA, in large part of China. We have also developing countries, among which, of course, uh, Jordan, who are trying very hard to catch up uh, our development. But the sad thing is, out of our 7 billion or so inhabitants, there are 2 billion people who live in extreme poverty with the equivalent of $2 a day. Now, what does it mean concretely? It's not just waving $2, but what does it mean? It means, for instance, that you have women who have to work for hours with their children who cannot attend school in order to bring home the precious liquid which they could have instead by just putting a tab or by a fountain uh, next door. So uh, there's also the difficulty of extracting food from a small tract of land without irrigation, fertilizer, or, or machinery. Uh, there's also not having a modicum of health in order to fight the inevitably and recurring epidemic. There's also the difficulty of coping with lack of sanitation. So this situation is completely intolerable. And this is why our foundation has taken the lead to foster uh, development that will help these people out of, uh, of, of poverty. Now, how do we work? What is our SKF? We have a network of 500 uh, academics, people, who uh, come from 50 different countries, and we communicate to each other, often because we've studied in the same school, but also because we speak the universal language uh, of science. And this is how we try to do something. And we found out that the most important thing for development is to have electrical power. Consider the fact that if you have a modest amount of three kilowatts per household, you can do, the uh, first thing is to drive a well for water, but also you can do something very important, is to fight in order to have, uh, to have uh, 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 the possibility to study and work at night. So I will show you to one slide. The slide is the children studying, and the next one is people working at night to extract a better living. So now, how does this translate in the case of Africa and, and, and Mena, or particularly Jordan? In Africa, you have many people nowadays, we know, at the peril of their lives who want to emigrate in order to have a better living. But of course, if there is a credible uh, international effort so that they realize that in a time scale of maybe five to 10 years, they will have a better life at home, they might be tempted to come. And that would have the consequence not only on building the country, but also on allaying the fears of Europeans to fight an avalanche of migrants, as we know. So that is extremely positive. Now, let's come to the case of Jordan. There is, in the population of Jordan, out of nine million, probably about two million refugees. 
these are first Palestinians, of course, but also now people coming from the wars in Iraq and Syria. With these numbers, it is absolutely remarkable the fact that His Majesty King Abdullah and his government have faced the situation. The first thing is, of course, to stay clear of the armed conflict at, uh, with their neighbors. And then, of course, to make the optimum resource of, of uh, fighting the, the situation. The first thing, which was one of the priorities of the Jordanian government, is to strengthen the rule of law. I would like to illustrate this question of governments by showing you pictures taken in the town hall of Siena, the beautiful Italian city, showing the effect of good and bad governance. The first slide, the first slide shows you the attributes of, of, uh, of governments, what we call in French l'état de droit. The second one will show you advantages for the life of the people so that we have peace in the streets. The third one shows you what happens in the countryside. And finally, the last one shows you the very bad effect of bad governments on what happens in the countryside. Now, there are other things which have been done by Jordan, and this is to, use, to make a better use of their resources, for instance, the mineral resources, the uh, diversification of the energy sources, and uh, also to find pragmatic agreements on sharing water with their neighbors from Saudi Arabia in the south and, and uh, Israel and uh, Palestinian Authority in the north. But also, there is something extremely important in Jordan. It is the emphasis on research and universities. Uh, Jordan has a very good university which teaching staff uh, formed in the United States and this is a hub which attracts many students from all over the Gulf region. And finally, finally, there is this fantastic bet of hosting Sesame. Sesame is now 60 days old, and CERN has just celebrated last year the 60 years of its anniversary. So indeed, there is a very bright future, and science in the Middle East will be completely changed in the coming years about this. Thank you for your attention, and Dr. Tukan, you have the floor. Yeah. Well.